Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I loved the other Zen Doodle books that I purchased and did a recent uh, flip through of. Um, they were by Deborah Muller and I thought they were just so cute. So I seen that there were a couple of additional Zen Doodle books. These are by Jeanette Wommel and they looked so adorable too. So I just had to get them. This one is called Playful Pets. This one is called Sea Life. So let's look through Playful Pets first. Aren't they cute? It says tear out pages ready to frame. So you know that all of them are perforated. And as the name implies, they are color by number. So with next month being color by number month, it's a color along between myself, Zoe Archer, and Nikki in Niagara. Uh, maybe we'll be coloring a picture out of one of these, either on camera or I may do one off camera. In the beginning of the book is uh, colored images of the pictures in here. Now, I don't know if that's right. That's not, that's half of them. And then the other half are in the back. Now, I love when they put the color palette on this flip out like this, because then as you're coloring, it's out there and you're not constantly having to flip back and forth or sometimes they put them up here and you can't always see them real easy. So I love the fact that they have this flip out um, section for the color palette. There are 36 colors in here. So, okay, let's have a look at the pictures themselves. Again, this is called Playful Pets. Here is the title page. And then we get right into the pictures. I will link both of these books as usual down in the description below. They are on Amazon. Look at the cute puppy. And then of course, a cute kitty. <laughs> uh huh. Lots of luggage. Kitty must want to go somewhere. <laughs> Got a, what does he have? Oh, he wants to go for a walk. I think that might be his leash. Huh? Aww. Kitty and a puppy. <laughs> so far, all kitties and puppies. Not sure if they're going to have all, any other pets in here or not. Aw, uh, time for night night. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. See a lot of kitties doing that. Mine like to do that. Ah, in their little bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sweet dreams, kitty. Oh, he looks like he's having fun. Day at the beach. <laughs> Four little rain boots. <laughs> I don't know too many dogs that would put up with them. Most dogs hate, even hate the little booties you put on them. I wish Bella would let us do that for her when it gets, you know, below zero. She freezes the little pads on her feet so easy, but she would not leave them on. She doesn't even like me touching her feet. <laughs> I don't know how she does it, the groomers, when they trim her nails, but she does not like her little paws being touched. Oh my gosh, look at that little dog. He's a fluffy one. Oh, it's his birthday. <laughs> oh, snooze time. On its favorite books. Kind of reminds me of Garfield. <laughs> oh, fancy poodle. <laughs> Looks like a vampire kitty. <laughs> Taking a bath. Now what color are these? 17s and 18s. I'm just kind of curious. 17s and 18s. They're greens. Hmm. Okay. I thought they'd be shades of blue, but that looks like a pug. 
Speaking of kitties, I have one snoring over here to the left. <laughs> Usually it's my Misty. I think it's midnight this time that's snoring. Oh, look at that big fluffy tail. <laughs> Happy kitty. Kitties always look like they're smiling and so, unless you have a grumpy cat. <laughs> Good heaven. Oh no, it is misty over in the cat tower. I thought so. <laughs> Midnight don't usually snore like that. Oh, puppy painting. There we go. Kitty in the tree. Reminds me of that poster. I don't know if you've ever seen one that says, Hang on, baby, Friday's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Dress up time. A teddy bear. Is that really a pet? Or is there a pet in there that I can't see? Oh yeah, there's a puppy down here. <laughs> it was kind of hidden in there. You guys have probably, have probably seen it and I just didn't. It's easier to see it in the camera sometimes than it is close up here in person. <laughs> Look at the cowboy boots. Uh, love how they always have their feet turned to the outside. Oh, the other, oh that must be New Year's, huh? <laughs> Got his little... Uh, Raincoat on? Well, it looks like a raincoat. Maybe it's supposed to be a life jacket, right? Ooh, I want them fishies. They look like koi fish. Huh? <laughs> Some more happy kitties. <laughs> cute, cute pictures. For any of you kitty or doggy lovers out there, this would be a great book for you. All curled up. Now that looks like Bella. She curls up like that all the time. Ooh, going for a hot air balloon ride. <laughs> In the box. Yep, that's Misty. Anytime you have a box out, she's got to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wonder what all colors are in these dogs and cats. Oh, St. Bernard. Must be the Alps back here, right? <laughs> Paper in these books is really nice paper. I mean, it's not cardstock or anything, but it's much nicer than your Amazon paper. So I think it would take most most mediums quite nicely. <laughs> Fido. I did have somebody ask me recently in a comment that they had one of these Zen Doodle books and I believe she said she colored it in or tried to color it in with water-based markers and was having a hard time um, having it soak into the paper. I'm not exactly sure what she meant, but I would think water-based markers and alcohol markers would do real well on this paper. So I'm gonna have to try because I think all these Zen Doodle books are on the same kind of paper. So I'm going to try um, using one of my brands of water-based markers on one of these pictures off camera probably and just see if, if there is a problem with using water-based markers on this paper. Like I said, I can't imagine that they would, but I'll have to find out exactly what markers she was using in here that she was having problems with. Curled up before the fire. These must be tiger kitties, right? 
<laughs> Little Yorkie. That's what Bella, well, Bella's a Yorkie Pomeranian, but. <laughs> that dog is outnumbered. He says, I'm in trouble. And that is it. Talks about other books in this Color by Number series, Sea Life, Stained Glass, and Spring Awakening. And we're going to go through Sea Life next. And I do have these other two that I did do flip-throughs of in the past. It would be, that video would be in my um, flip-through playlist if you're interested and haven't seen it already. So here is Sea Life Underwater Worlds to Color and Display. And again, this is by Jeanette Wommel. Every page is perforated. So, Okay, here we go. Octopus. Mm, pretty fishies look like clown fishies. I thought these pictures may be uh, you know, might be quite colorful and bright. And again, they have the flip out in the back. Nice. Half of the pictures, you know, colored in versions are back here. And again, the other half, the first half are in the beginning. So yeah, like look at this seahorse. Let me zoom in a little bit. You know, like I said, I was hoping that they would be nice and colorful. Now, like these clownfish, yeah, they look like your clown, your typical clownfish. And these, the octopus is a nice, pretty purples. Seahorse is nice and bright. So yeah, that's why I, I was hoping this book would have nice bright colors to it, and it looks like it does. So now that I said that, where were we? There's our clownfish. There, I think we were here. There's the seahorse. And I love seahorses, so I might start with that one. Although, you know, some of these, it's really hard to pick out a favorite picture. So, some books. Now, I may just start at the first picture and just work my way through. <laughs> Octopus again. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of fish in here. <laughs> Looks like beta fish. Dolphins. Not a fish, but they still swim. <laughs> Ooh, and a whale. Oh, stingrays. They are so neat. And a turtle. <laughs> Shark. Got to have one of them in there. Oh, swordfish. Another octopus. Look at them big eyes. <laughs> All kinds of things in here. A little bit of a busier picture. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Don't know if that's a seal or a sea lion. Or... <laughs> Here we have the crab. Okay, what is that called? Hmm. It's a drill fish. No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, and we have to have a mermaid in here too, right? She's part of sea life. Oh, and another seahorse. With a little baby seahorse. Oh, two babies. That's cute. Another crab. Must be a hermit crab in a shell. <laughs> Okay, I know that type of fish where they dangle that something out to attract the fish that they want to eat. I can't remember what they're called. Another octopus. And a whale. These books are quite thick. You can see you get a number of pictures in each of them. 
Now, has the suckers under it like an octopus? Looks like a dragon. What is that? You know, is it like an eel? But they don't have heads like that. So I don't know. Unless it's a fantasy sea life creature. Oh, treasure. Oh, a whole bunch of seahorses. That looks like a tang fish. I used to have saltwater aquarium and I had some beautiful blue yellow tail tangs. Oh, they were so pretty. Another mermaid. And jellyfish. I don't think we had any jellyfish yet in here, did we? Ah, uh, some more seals, I think they're supposed to be. Oh, they found a message in the bottle. Nice submarine. Looks like a little submarine. <laughs> oh, mermaid with a seal. That looks like uh, not an angelfish. That looks like a type of tang, too. There's the eels. So I'm not sure what that other thing was. Starfish. Yeah, that's right. We haven't had a starfish yet either. Oh, I know the name of that too. Hmm, can't think. Oh, lionfish, right? This is testing my brain here. My brain ain't working. Some more dolphins. Oh boy. Now I gotta have Bella start. I almost made it through the video too. One moment. Okay, I think she's done. I think, I think. We shall see. Ah, they're gizzing. <laughs> That's cute. Ah. Oh, there's some more seahorses. Big jellyfish. And a lobster. You know, when I seen those other crabs, I'm like, okay, must have a lobster in here somewhere. <laughs> and another turtle. Now those might be angelfish, right? They usually have these long... What do you call them? <laughs> I was going to say feathers. It's like, that ain't right. Fins. <laughs> oh, told you my brain ain't working. Dolphin. Bet you we got to have yellows and oranges maybe in the sunset or sunrise, one or the other. Let's see what number 11 is. I would think it'd be a yellow. Yep. <laughs> and then 5, 7, 8 orange yellow orange and golden yellow so yep how'd we know that but that'd be pretty done oh and a clam with a pearl in it be lucky to find that wouldn't you another octopus lots of little fishies around oh makes me want to color out of this book <laughs> lot of fun some more whales. Now that looks more like a sea lion, doesn't it? And there's that one again. What is that called? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I don't recognize it. That's an angel fish. And some seashells. 
And that's it. Here again mentions the other color by number series. These are in the Zen Doodle books. So that again was the Zen Doodle color by number Sea Life. And then we had the playful pets. And again, I will leave links down below in the description to these books in case you'd like to purchase them and participate in the color by number color along that's going to be going on for the month of September. So I hope you enjoyed the flip throughs of these two color by number books. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.